What is going on my people? How is everybody doing and how is everybody frilling in today my people? Just waking up yesterday. Wednesday? Today's Wednesday? Yeah, Wednesday. Yo, my people. Hope y'all feeling good. I hope y'all feeling amazing. I'm feeling good. Oh, glory to God for another day. Thanking the Lord for not allowing the deaf angels to take me this morning. This was on my mind. Like, I don't really wait, make videos off the wake up. I'm in a crib right now, but it was on my spirit to speak about this, something that I've been dealing with. So, I've been going through a lot. I, I'll probably wait that. I'll probably wait for like another video to speak about it, but I'm going through a lot of texts. Calling this out real quick. Not the word diet, but eating a healthy balance of meals throughout your day because that that really affects your retention journey, man. And I've been really not taking that seriously. A couple years ago, I was pescatarian. I was doing my thing with the pescatarian lifestyle, you know what I'm saying? But what I realized is that what I put in my body really affects everything it, it it starts with that man i really been doing better like even yesterday like I'm, I'm taking it one day at a time yesterday i didn't have no like real heavy food like no meats or nothing i had like um i had mixed you know mixed like peanuts and stuff i had um brazil nuts i had dried mango pistachio stuff like that like nuts and seeds i've had that and it's so crazy too because when i think about this you know nuts and seeds it's like i'm on retention trying to heal my nuts and my seeds excuse my language i'm just being honest with y'all like now replenish my body and i heal my body with the same stuff that i'm trying to get better everything just gets better you know what i mean it just makes sense like for example let me take these so if I don't need these glasses. Walnuts look like the brain. If you look at a brain on Google and you look at walnuts, they look the same. These are the things that I need to be eating. And, and like I said, I've, I've been on this spiritual journey, this health journey for so many years. I'm 28 now. I'm turning 29 next month on the 15th, July 15th. Things that I was doing, starting my health journey, it was helping. And then the minute I decide that I want to start doing something else, life starts going worse for me going downhill. I stayed in the church, stayed in the scriptures, living the best way possible that I know that Jesus would want me to live. The minute I start getting into the world, as I get older, life start throwing me stuff that I was not really experiencing. Sexual sin, living wickedly, start getting into bad habits, start indulging into alcohol and weed. But now that I'm getting back into Christ, things are just becoming clearer, things are making sense. I'm being healed, I'm being delivered from things. When I was eating better, things were good. Life just felt better, I was able to move. Once I stop eating good, guess what happens? Everything else starts happening bad for me. Sicknesses and colds and pains and all of this crap, man. It's just really just, it's crazy. But now that I'm getting back into the things that I know that I should be doing from the way I eat, the way we eat, my people, it starts with the way we eat. It affects our mind, it affects our mood, it affects our body, it affects so much um, with everything that happens in our day-to-day -day life. So even if we're retaining, that's amazing. But at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter because if we're not eating a certain way, if we're not eating a good balanced meal, if we're not working out and not, you know, drinking a lot of water, eating a lot of fruits and vegetables, oh man, some people, some people don't eat fruits and vegetables and it's like, I gotta pray for them, you know? I gotta pray that they get delivered from that, you know, crazy thought process and mindset. This was on my mind this morning. Like, I really gotta start eating better. More fruits, more vegetables, more nuts and seeds. So many uh, different things that I, I don't even be consuming, like different vegetables I should be eating that is good for the body and it helps heal the body. I love fasting. Fasting is good. But the way I ate yesterday made me feel better and I feel that it, uh, healed my digestion. And then I started watching so many other amazing, you know, um, content creators from Instagram, and they speaking about food and how certain foods been killing us. And I've spoken about this too, off camera and on my camera, where I had made the video of the number one killer, food. I don't really like to speak about my like personal family problems, but it's like a lot of my family got a lot of health issues. And it, it comes from, you know, just the certain things that we eat, all these bad stuff, a lot of the stuff we eat, I'm gonna be honest, probably 99% of the stuff we eat is just processed chemicals, tons of sugar, soda, candy, 
um, sweets, <coughs> excuse me, sweets, so many other things that we just eat. A lot of times we have a hard time trying to get rid of eating these bad foods, but because we've been eating it for so long, we've brainwashed our, our minds into thinking that this is okay, oh, it's whatever, YOLO, you only live once. You know, it doesn't matter. You know, I'm gonna pass away anyway. Like we start speaking death on our tongues. We start thinking death on our minds. And then now we cannot become healed anymore. A lot of food that we eating is causing anxiety. It's causing depression. It's causing kidney failure, high blood pressure, high cholesterol. You know, it's, it's causing all of these things. Let me see, I'm, uh, so it's just important to really just be aware and, and care about ourselves. We don't care about ourselves. We eat bad. We eat whatever. We don't care. We don't care about anything. You know, it's whatever. That's a sign of lack of self-love. If you really loved yourself, you would eat better. You would push yourself, you know, you would take a stand. Watch videos to educate you. Don't, don't be scared of the truth. You know, the truth is going to set you free. The truth is going to help you to continue to grow. And I feel like that's why I've been struggling on my retention journey because I've been eating bad. And that was just on my spirit. I just wanted to share that with y'all and let y'all know that we are what we eat. What we eat affects our mood, our body. A lot of the stuff that we be eating on an everyday basis, like we don't even be like looking at the ingredients. Look at this. First of all, when you look at the sugars, 20 grams of sugar, 23 grams of added sugar, right? That is crazy. Look at how much ingredients is in this cake. Thickening, because this is the stuff that's causing a lot of the diseases, the anxiety, and people wanna know why they children, or why they feel anxious, or, you know, they going through kidney stuff. Like, look at all of this ingredients in this one cake. This is unbelievable. Just little things like that, like everything, like I'm gonna show y'all. So many things that we be eating on. Look at this, right? I love Cookie Crisp, but, <coughs> excuse me, all of this, this, like what is this stuff, you know? Sugar, cornmeal, sugar, like this stuff, this is what we be feeding our kids. Cause we saying it's, it's so hard to be healthy, right? Now, strawberry joint right here, right? Strawberry bread, let me see. High fructose corn syrup, we gotta be careful with that. That thing is terrible. That thing is just the worst. Mucho mango, right? 22 grams of added sugar, 23 grams of sugar. Filtered water, high fructose corn syrup, glucose. I mean, like, come on. This is what we be drinking. This thing, it's a strawberry jam, right? High fructose corn syrup, corn. Like, this stuff we shouldn't be eating. This is what's causing us. Look at this. And I don't drink regular milk. I know my family does. I'm trying to get my family off this. I like alternative, like, like almond milk is cool. It's, it's just sickening. This is just killing us, y'all. This is killing us. It's in everything. Sugar, 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 sugar. Like, we gotta do better, y'all. Seriously, we gotta do better. It's just not good. Let me see what this syrup has, right? This syrup has corn syrup, sugar, all of this extra. What is that? Sodium? I don't even know how to say that. Like, nah, I'm good on that. I'm good on that, I'm good on that. I'm making me a nice smoothie right now. Blueberry, frozen pineapple, strawberry. I'm telling you, I'm gonna I'm definitely change the, the things I eat. And I got me some green tea right here. I'm not doing this no more. It's, I'm, I'm, I'm done. So I got some more products, y'all. Look at the ingredients on this stuff. I was taught to, if you don't know what these ingredients mean, why would you eat them? Like, I don't get it. Like, look at that. 22 grams of total sugar, 17 grams of sugar. And then we want to know why we so hyper, why we got anxieties. Look at this, another brand of ice cream. What are this stuff that's in here? Look at that, man. Just pure sugar. Another brand of ice cream. Talking about some happy belly. Happy belly, that's cap. They want to mess your belly up. Took them out happy belly. How is this going to get us a happy belly? Look at this. Uh, sugar, fat, high fructose corn syrup, you know, processed this, processed that, all of this stuff. 20 grams of sugar. Like, these people, they're trying to kill us, man. They're trying to kill us, but I just wanted to show you a couple stuff. Like, this is stuff that most of us have, you know? And we eat all this stuff on a daily basis and want to know why we keep gaining weight, getting headaches, we getting all of this stuff. We doing it to ourselves. It's crazy. What we eat affects our mood, our body, causes us diseases. Certain things we eat can cause healing. So appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Y'all have a good day. And until next time, much love.